Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rich43. Hope you're all doing good. Big appreciation, guys, for all the subs we're getting so far. I've got 104 at the minute when I'm filming this video, but I don't know if they, hopefully they've gone up by the time, by the time this, by the time you see this. But yeah, I'm really appreciate it, guys. I do really appreciate your support, your views, your subs, your likes, your comments. Love you guys. But anyway, without being too sloppy, keep going on. It's Monday, so that means we're on issue 26 of the Titanic from Hatchet Park Works. If you're not already subscribed, guys, smash that subscribe button, press the bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. Give it a big, cheeky thumbs up if you like the video. Comment down below, feel free to share it to whoever you want. But without further ado, guys, let's crack on with the Titanic build from Hatchet Park Works. Okay then guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's crack on with this build. Issue 26 of the Titanic from Hatchet Pirates. Now we've got a big piece here today, guys. I ain't got a clue what it is. Because as you know, I'll wait for you to see me open it. And I'll see what you see at the same time, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking while I open it. Because I know this is very loud when I'm recorded. And you might not hear what I'm saying. that to one side again I'll be a tease guys put this to one side and we'll have a look what exact parts we've got in a sec let's have a quick look through the mag what have we got coming next oh you know what we've got next and you're gonna see this about four times I think depending on how many I think there's four engines in the Titanic don't quote me coming in issue 27 uh, parts for the second reciprocating engine now, if you're regular to the channel, guys, and to this build, you'll remember doing that a few, well, it's been a few months ago now, a few issues ago. But yeah, we're probably going to do that, obviously, another two or three times yet. But it's part of the, the fun, isn't it? So yeah, we'll come to that when we come to it. Let's keep cracking on through this magazine. You've got usual content, guys. I mean, for example, three nurses and, and all orderly. A lot of information, guys, of the people who were on this Titanic. black and white picture there look how, how rammed it was although third class passengers on board titanic enjoyed better treatments and conditions compared with life on board other ships transporting immigrants from europe to america above this picture here anyone who was ill or who could infect passengers was not allowed on board it's similar to now with the pandemic and you can't go anywhere now without being checked <laughs> anyway let's crack on but yeah, look how many people was on there. It's a bit sad, really, isn't it, when you realise just looking at that picture, and that's just one screenshot when it went down. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah, but back to the build anyway, guys. The deck of the engine room. Right, that's what we've got today. Oh, yeah. Do you remember last week, guys, when I said I think we're getting tweezers? Here we go. We've got them. But let's have a look. Now, the these are the tweezers I'm using. So these might go a bit redundant now. I ain't going to need them on that. I want... Oh, fucking hell. And so I shouldn't be needing them now. If, um, if this build is supplying some. So let's have a look. It's like Christmas Day every week, isn't it, guys, doing this? <laughs> oh, it soon will be Christmas as well. That's a scary thought. I don't know where this year's gone, to be fair. All right, so let me just get the parts out. Yeah, we've got some tweezers here, guys. Do you know what? That gives me nightmares seeing them because I've got a feeling we're going to need them to put windows onto the um, the upper deck and everything. The, what they're called? The feet. Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. 
you know what I mean? The windows on previous issues. I can't think what they're called now, guys. If you remember, comment down below. I know I, know I can look on my videos, but I can't think what it is now. I'm thinking of. This is wrapped so cool, guys. I mean, they do look after these parts. This is plastic. I'm going to chuck these parts here. So we'll chuck these to one side and we'll go through exactly what I've got in a sec. Yeah, so this is going to be the deck of the engine room. I would have thought the engines we've built and building are going to be fitting on here somewhere. So yeah, let's just quickly go through what parts we've got today. You've got 26A, which is going to be this part here. Let's get these out. So yeah, the, this here is 26A. And that's the thrust block A. That's plastic. Put that to one side. Uh, you got 26B, which yeah, thrust block B. Again, that's plastic, guys. Put that with that one. And uh, you got 26C, pipe for port side, which are these parts. I'm going to leave these in here for a sec because I don't want to lose them. But those are those parts. That's 26C. And then you've got 26D. Yeah, so one's C, one's D. The two longer pieces. I was just checking then, guys. I thought 26... Yeah, so it's 26C and D. Those are those two long pieces there. And you've got 26E and 26F. Which are those smaller pieces there. I mean, these are plastic, these are, they're not steel or metal. Oh, man, look at that. Can you see that bit there, guys? That is so small. See where the tweezers are coming in? <laughs> that's 26G. That's called an elbow pipe. So we put them to one side. And you've got 26H, which is this. That's the deck for the engine room. That's plastic. And then... We've got the tweezers, which is 26i. Just tweezers. But then they'll probably come in handy. And then last of all, you've got EP screws. You've got three of those. Three EP screws. Yeah, you're going to use two. You've got one spare. Right, so let's crack on with this building, guys. Instruction one, take the two parts from the thrust block, 26A and 26B. So what we want to do is we want to get the biggest part, the thrust block, which is 26A, and then the similar sort of looking, but it's smaller as you can see by looking at it. That's 26B. And then what it's telling us to do is if we position that like that, and then you've got these raised plastic pieces just there, as you can see, you know where I'm going now, don't you? These have got to be pushed in to those holes. Now, it's saying you can use tweezers, guys, but you, you don't need to use tweezers for this bit. It's down to you yourself, but as you can see, that has gone nice and flush, easy as pie. I'm just going to read, has that got a glue? It doesn't say glue, but that's done. But that can come apart. It's not clicked in or anything. Let's put that to one side and we'll see what it says on the next page. No, it's not saying do glue. Perhaps it'll strengthen up when we put it on the part or something. I think what might happen is when we put these other parts in a minute, it might position it together so it's not going to come apart. Right, so let's read instruction two, guys. Take the four lengths of pipe so we'll get these out I'm trying not to lose that little piece I don't want to get that out has it come out yeah it's come out I'm going to put that back in there we do not want to lose that <laughs> right so we've got to take 26F and 26D now let me just get this the right way around what I tend to do when I'm doing this, guys, if you look at the diagram, self-explanatory, look at that diagram. 
and get it exactly how it looks on the diagram. So this is what we need. It's so titchy, I'm trying to, do you know what, let's use my tweezers. Hang on, let's use these new tweezers, guys. <laughs> and you can see what I'm messing with. So this is positioned there. You can see you've got like a little, little lip and it goes thinner. Now on the instruction, that's at the top, like so. So if I get these tweezers, just to show you. That is how it looks on the diagram. And then it's saying get 26D. So just keep that in mind a second, guys. Put that down there. Now 26D, I'm just checking, see if these are the same. So you've got to make sure that if you can see that on camera, I think you can get, yeah, there's a hole there. Whether that's for this part or the next one, that hole's got to attach to the part I've just showed you. So if we put that around like that, and I've got the right one. So basically if we put that like that, that facing inwards, and you've got the hole there, like so. And what we're going to do, I'm just going to read first, guys, see if we've got to put glue. Um, so it's saying take the four lengths of pipe and arrange them as shown. So that the port section is 26C and 26E, and the starboard section is 26D and 26F, which is the other piping, um, are put into the sockets basically. When you're happy with the fit, see also the following step and fix pegs into place. Yeah, that's when we're going to use glue. I thought we was going to have to use glue because it's going to come apart else. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do this without the tweezers because it's probably going to be more fiddly with the tweezers. So what does it want us to do? If we get that round like that, just see if it fits. Do you know what that fits? Pretty, pretty cool, that, when you're dropping it. But you can see it needs glue. Just show that close up, guys. There you go, hang on. Like so. That's it. That's how it's going to be. Put those two there and get the other two pieces. Which now this will be the reverse to what we've just done. So you'll tilt it around like that. And get 26C. Again, with that little hole. These are very flimsy, guys, so be careful not to snap them. Just don't need a lot of force, to be fair. Just push together like that. So now what we'll do, we'll put a dab of very, very little bit of glue on the end of them um, raised bits of plastic. This glue's good, you know, but it seems to be drying up, which it shouldn't dry up. Where's that come from? Oh, that's off my tweezers. So I wonder where that come from then. I was worried then I'd lost a part. Right, so what we'll do. Put a tiny bit of glue on here, guys, when it wants to come out, that is. Oh, there we go. Just be plenty. So that's that way. And then that goes on. all that together that this don't take long to um to draw at all see done already wicked so i'm going to place that down out of the way we will need those in a minute guys because seeing by the instructions we're going to need them again do the same for this one i think i've told you this before as well if you um if you don't want to put the glue on like that with the tube, you can always use a cocktail stick. It's a lot easier than worrying if it's gonna go everywhere. I'm just, I'm talking, checking, I've got this the right way. Yeah, so that's like that. And then that goes on like that. Just wait that to dry. No time, brilliant. So we'll put that down there. 
Right, so the rest of the parts of this instruction too are basically doing what we've just done, telling us to glue it. And then what we're doing now is taking 26D and 26F. So that will be concentrate now, guys. You can tell Corey I'm talking slow. Could be that one. So I'm going to try all the tweezers for you, and then you can see what exactly we're doing. So that's how that looks. I've got that little curve up there, and what it's telling us to do is take this part we've just completed. Let's make sure this is the right way around. Yeah, if you can see in the instructions here, guys, you've got two blue rings, circles. It's showing you've got two holes in this this part we've just put together. So keep that to the right. And then what it's telling us to do is set 26D and F, which is this part. And I'm just seeing if we've got to put glue in this. Yeah. Small bit of super glue. Okay. Hmm. I'm just wondering where do these. Yeah, that's fine. I think. See if that goes. On there, I'm not gluing it yet, guys. I'm just doing, doing a dry run. In fact, there's on there like that. I'd say it's going to go, I think. And the detail to this, guys, is amazing. As you can see, there's fine detail you're having to put in here, and it's just you probably won't see it. I don't know where it's going to go. I thought that was in there, like that. yeah. I'll take a look like that. Should we go for it? Should we, should we just glue it? I'm going to go for it. Hang on. Let's read on first before we do that. Into the uh, circle in the yellow. Yeah. It's a very bit of small pit. Yeah, I'll get my words out. A very tiny bit of glue, basically. Concentrating, guys. I don't have to squirt out loads and I'm allowed to glue on my mag and everywhere. That'd be a bit of a nightmare, wouldn't it? Which is a bit thingy. What ain't coming out? <laughs> you come, oh, there we go. See, oh, got there. You only need a little bit. Okay, so if we get that round there. Put that in the top of there. And then that one goes in. Glue my foam together then. That's it, done. There you go. All done. Let's do the other side. Now that's what's probably going to hold that together now when we was panicking just while well, I was panicking. That's what's going to hold it together. No need to panic, guys. <laughs> I don't think you was. It's probably just me. Yeah, if you am liking this video, though, guys, if you are, that's that's my accent, that is, am. If you am liking, <laughs> I don't know if you know um, the UK well, but it's basically like a cross between Wolverhampton and Brummie accent. I do try and speak a bit posh on this channel. <laughs> I'm not posh. No, I just try and speak so you can understand me, that's all, because some people obviously I'm talking too fast or some of the words I say you can't understand. I hope no one said that on the channel. But sometimes somebody like people can say that to me. I'm feeling a bit self conscious now I've said that to you. 
I hope you can understand me, guys. Do you know what? I try not to think. Well, I think because I'm happy with what I'm getting, but I try not to think of all these subs I'm getting, all you people out there watching, because it gets me a bit, a bit nervous when I think too much about it. So me, I'm just in my garage here, just doing what I do. Thinking of you guys, but trying not to, so does that make sense? Because the size of the thing, thinking that there's a hundred people, probably not at all one time watching my channel, scares the out of me. <laughs> but I chose to do it, I know, and I'm, I'm enjoying doing it. But yeah, I just try not to think too much at the time when I'm filming. Me bringing it up now, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> but anyway, back to this, guys, that's done. Look at that. It's pretty cool, that does. Now, as you can see here, I've got one hole left. That's going to be for that little tiny piece, I think, what we just seen. But look at that, guys. It is. Put that right to the camera. Look at the detail on that little circle bit there. Now, that is detail, guys. I ain't got a clue where this is going yet, but that is detail. But they don't have to do that sort of detail, but obviously they have. And you can see what standard this ship, this model, is going to be when finished. Right now, if I go quiet, it's because I don't want to lose this. Very, 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 very little. I mean, that's my finger, my little finger, guys, and look at that. Look how small that is. <laughs> right, this is where I could do with the tweezers, I think, but what worries me about tweezers is that you flick it out. If you know what I mean, when you hold them, you could just flick off. Let's see. Hope not. So... If I have that there a minute, it's going to be pointing downwards, so I've got that in the right position. I just need to put a little bit of glue. I think this glue's trying to wind me up now. A while and then all of a sudden it squishes out and that's what I don't want at this time to be oh. come on come on out I wonder if it's empty I think that might be empty right okay I'm gonna get this last bit out for a while and go There we go, it's coming, there we go. Yeah, done. I know there's some in there. Right, moment of truth, we're pinging off over the garage. There we go, that's in. Give it a couple of seconds. Done. It's a bit wobbly at the minute, but that will dry. But look at that, guys, look at the detail on that. Pretty cool. Right, now let's turn the page over, see what we've got to do next. Nothing left on the page. Yeah, you guessed it. I've got to put it onto the engine, deck of the engine room. Right, so let me just grab that back, which is this piece here, guys. Now, what it's saying do, it's got to be this way up. You've got these raised pieces of plastic. I just try and leave the instructions in your shop there. And what it's saying do is get two EP screws. And yeah, you know what's coming, guys. My trusty Ferrari screwdriver. I oh, know that's for the Ferrari we have to put 40 build, but it does the job. So I'm using it for the Titanic build. <laughs> right. So what it's saying do, take the deck of the engine room 26H, which is this part, and place it on your work surface, which we've done. In the orientation shown, fit the raised screw sockets on the underside of the thrust block, which, that's that guys, what we've just done. What we put these pipes on, that's the thrust block. So we've got to put them in the corresponding holes and then tighten it up um, with the EP screws. So. 
the way it is on the diagram guys is replace that there like that and this has got to be that way around so you've got the two pipes like that coming that way and what it wants us to do is fit it in to those two holes there I'll just double check if I'm saying that yeah that's right so we fit it like that and you should see four holes all around it five with that one and that's how it should look that's it with that little pipe going to the deck and then what it's saying do is turn it over and screw in what I'll do is I'll start it off from there get another EP screw well this was a pretty simple one guys this week I'm wondering what next week's going to be as I've said before in these videos they're all pretty simple nothing against the build that ain't that's a good thing because you're getting quality um, outcome from it but it's not it's not hard at all but some can be a little bit fiddly so yeah we'll see how next week goes which we've already done like at the beginning of the video it's um, part of the engine which is fiddly but it's doable it's all doable there's no there's been no hard hard parts yet whether they will I don't know we'll see see I'm holding on to that sit down drop off be careful guys these pipes are cool and they look good but they're very flimsy as you can see they're, they're not strong plastic and if you push on too hard which I'm being wary about you're going to snap them but yeah that's it guys and that's it for this week but that does look good I do say so myself that does look cool but yeah that is how it looks at the end and that is it for this week's issue That is it for this week's Titanic build guys, we've done the deck of the engine room where we've got that piece and we've put the thrust block onto the deck of the engine room, that is all we've had to do this week and put like obviously two little parts on it, which has been a pretty easy issue this week guys, I do hope you enjoyed it, oh and we've got some tweezers, I think some tough times are coming with them little tweezers with the windows and that but it's all good fun, but guys if you ain't subscribed smash that subscribe button and press the bell notification to get alerts every time I put a video up. If you do like what you see, give it a big juicy thumbs up. Comment down below. Feel free to share the video to whoever you want. Pass it about, guys, from your nan, your grandies, granddads, anybody, guys. Just pass it about. Really appreciate the support. But for now, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Please join me next week for another Titanic issue. But that's it for now, guys. See you soon. Peace.